So I'm going to share with you something God wanted me to share. He said, don't make it complicated, just trust God. Now, we all pretty much know or have at least heard partially about the story of Job. And see, God told me to tell you this. He said, sometimes when you're going through, you have to realize that you're just in a Job situation. All right. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Sometimes you, you, you may not have as much as Job, but we all lose things. Uh, sometimes you're just in a Job situation. So you have to understand the principle of what was going on with Job. And, 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 and I like this because we're going to go ahead and get into this. Now we're going to start here. Not only did Job have a situation that we talk about, but Job had a situation in a situation. Uh, we're not just going to talk, we're going to talk about the other situation, but we're, see, it's sometimes you got a situation in a situation. Now, see, you know about when Job, had, God had the conversation with Satan. So have you tried my servant Job? Have you, have you tried? You, you almost boasted. So I've been walking, where you been? I've been walking to and fro in the earth. And I can see him having some satisfactions in all of the souls he was getting. The Bible says hell has enlarged itself. So he wasn't out there for joy. He wasn't out there just, just blowing up dust. He was, he was scoring to some people. He was taking some stuff down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But there was one individual uh -huh. that loved God so that the devil couldn't touch him. Uh -huh. I'm, 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 I'm just saying it to you now. Now, 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 the devil wants to insinuate the only reason that he's serving you uh, is because there's a hedge around him. But somebody said you can have a love for God that the hedge doesn't matter. You thought you good today, Sometimes you can have a love for God that 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 the chicken doesn't matter. <laughs> Now 
Calvin Jones. They said three friends. Uh, it's a three friends. Now this may not have got anybody else. But it didn't say three of Job's friends. It almost looks as if he didn't have but three friends. All right. All right. The way it reads, it didn't say three of his friends. It said Job three friends. So Job had three friends. But I'm going to tell you something. When you go a little bit higher in God, when you get elevated in God, when you got a mountain that won't quit, you have to be careful on who your friends are. Yes, sir. I'm just saying. Yes, sir. When God has blessed you to that extent, it's hard to find somebody that loves you for the content of your character instead of the stuff that's in your hands. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He said, three friends. Uh, I'm, I'm just sharing it. Now, that's all right. Job had a situation, and we're gonna go back just a little bit further. What were we? Listen, you can write this down. This will work for you. Everything that God allows is an opportunity to get closer. Yeah. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. If you see your situation as a problem, then you're not focused on God. You all have heard me say before, the only problems you have are the ones you haven't given to Jesus. The only struggles you have are the ones you haven't trusted him with. Right. The only thing that's a burden, he said, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly at heart, and ye shall find rest. So he, he, he's saying that no matter what's going on you, you should be able to find rest. There, it's not a situation that God would allow that he won't provide a means of escape. He won't make it so you can bear it. Won't make it look at no situation where God that come upon you, that if you pull on him long enough, talk to him long enough, fast long enough, call on him long enough, read long enough, You'll be able to sleep when the boat's rocking and the storm's blowing. Yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, 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 there is no problem you got that's bigger than your God. If you got a problem that's bigger than your God, we need to talk. Yes, sir. You need to text me. We need to have a conversation. You need to come up here and shut in with me. Uh, whatever needs to move, God's going to move it. Are, are you with me? Yeah. Uh -huh. see, 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 Job had a situation in a situation. And, and the interesting thing is, God was having a conversation with the enemy and Job wasn't included. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a battle because sometimes when you're in tune with God, you can hear folks talking. You're going through and sister calling sister saying I'll tell you what I think they need to do I'm telling you why I think they need to go I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you I'm, uh -huh, but I ain't nowhere in the conversation but I'm the topic of the conversation Joe was the topic of the conversation oh uh, y'all can't get with this yeah. but you have to understand this oh my god my god my god if you are a friend if you are a true friend stop talking about what you think has anybody asked God has, Checked into the equation. Now, anybody saw Jesus? Now, we're throwing out our opinions, but somebody said there is a God. That's the beginning and the end. That's a God. That's the first and the last. That's a God that had the answer before you knew the question. Uh, now it was looking grim from the entry point where Job was walking in, cause Job wasn't. What's the word I'm looking for? He wasn't informed. God just told the devil what he gave permission to do. But he didn't wake Job up in a dream according to the scripture. He said, Job, the devil's coming. Right. He didn't wake him up in the middle of the night. <laughs> but, he, mm, 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 but see, if God doesn't warn you, he already knows you got the, what you need to handle. Yeah. Yeah. If he doesn't send it in front, he already knows that you got what you need to take it. Yeah. He didn't consult with Job. He told the devil. He, he asked the devil. He said, have you considered my servant Job? Have you considered? He's a perfect and upright man. He obscures evil. I looked at what that means. He flees from it. He sees evil and he takes off running from it. He realizes that the 
somebody say, God is the answer. Don't make it complicated. Just trust God. Ah! See, many times we don't trust Him because we don't know how. And sometimes you learn how to trust Him in the middle of what you're going through. Because many times we will exalt all our resources and all of our resources before we turn to God. But, 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 but the thing about Job, Job was counting on God when he didn't need no money. Job was counting on God when his health was good. Job was calling on God when his children was alive. Job was calling on God. So even though he may not have needed what he needed at the time, he was making some deposits. He didn't know it, but he was setting up for a rainy day. He didn't know it, but his food was going to run out. He didn't know it, but his kids was going to leave this world. He didn't know it, but somebody was going to get his goat. And then his wife got his goat. Say, God, you took all my children. And you left me with this foolish one. Naked I shall return Blessed in the name of the Lord See because I'm going to tell you something That Joe understood Somebody may not know that there's a difference In being broken and poor Pastor said they said he was Poor Not poor but poor Say he was so close to The other end he couldn't afford the owing all That's out of his mouth That's his testimony But they may have saw him as being poor But you understand when Somebody says poor many times. They talking about a lifespan, a lifetime, or a lifestyle. You understand? But when somebody say I'm broke, I'm only broke for a moment. Jokes is I'm going through, but I can imagine within the subconscious of his mind where he's been depositing all that spiritual stuff, where he's been depositing all those things that God had said. He said I might be broke now, but I'm not gonna stay here because I. And naked I shall return. Two things happened. First, he got broke. Then he got broke. First, he got broke. Then he got broke. See, many of us, some of us are going to be poor all the rest of our life. Because we think we broke. But God's waiting on us to get broke. All y'all can get with this. It's one thing to be poor. That means I'm going to stay in my situation. It's another thing to be broke. That means I don't have no money right now. But when I become broken, God's got to build me up. He's got to bring me out. He's got to bring me up. He's got to bring me through. I realize that my God is God. No matter what my situation is. But what I'm gonna do is get broke. Because I'm not poor. I'm rich in spirit. I'm rich with the Holy Ghost. The one that owned me has a cap on a thousand hills. Or a thousand cap on a hill. Or whatever in each. I can even put it like you want to put it, but the Bible says when the end comes in like a flood. Job had to see the flood like this. Later on, see, he had some other complications. Because he said, the thing I had feared the most has come upon me. The thing that I was afraid of has come upon me. I didn't know. I tried to guard against this thing. God says I'm perfect and I'm right. I sacrificed for myself. I sacrificed for my wife. I sacrificed for my children. But yet, still, God, you have allowed this. But nevertheless, I won't curse you foolishly. Naked I came into the world. Naked I shall. 